The White House is calling on billions of dollars for Social Security, which lawmakers need to pass this month. I have all the details and exactly what this means, as well as why this would be good for the Social Security Administration, and of course the beneficiaries as well. Let's get into it and talk about what's going on. First off, can I ask a huge favor of you? If you have not done so yet, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button right down below. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. Also, as long as you're down there, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel as well with the big subscribe button. Thank you. Really, really appreciate your support. And let's talk through the details. All right. So we just got some new information out of the White House and the Biden administration as they are calling on billions of dollars for Social Security, as well as the VA, which I can talk about here in just a minute as well. But all of this needs to be passed by lawmakers literally this month in the next few weeks before we turn over to the next month. Now, I was just out the other day in a live stream as well talking about the details of what they need to get done this month. But this request out of the White House as well, calling on $15.4 billion for the Social Security Administration was just released here. And again, lawmakers are right down to the wire on this. Well, I want to share with you exactly what this $15.4 billion would be used for, why the administration is calling on this, and what they actually plan to do with this. Because let's just think of it this way. And again, I, I don't think this comes as any shock to anybody. Is Social Security properly funded right now? Now, I'm not talking about necessarily the trust fund. Does the trust fund have enough money? Right now, it has plenty, trillions of dollars within the trust fund. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about does Social Security have enough administration funding right now to process applications properly, to basically uh, fulfill all the needs of the beneficiaries? The answer is no. We are at decade low staffing within, uh, within Social Security. So as a result of that, we're seeing uh, wait times long, Longer. We're you know not getting our, our questions answered as quickly. Uh, application processing is taking a lot longer. This is in the best interest of the beneficiary to get more funding to Social Security so they can better serve the beneficiary. Let's be real. How many of us enjoy calling Social Security, right? <laughs> I think you agree with me, right? Not a fun day. You call and you sit on hold forever. And then maybe if someday somebody answers your call, maybe you can talk to them for a minute or two and they probably don't even have right answers for you. It's not a good situation, right? Uh, which by the way, um, I was just out maybe, I don't know, two weeks or so ago talking about another announcement out of Social Security and they're going to be hiring roughly 400 more people to process applications to speed up the process because right now for disability applications, for example, not, not all applications, I'm just using disability for example here, the average processing time is about seven and a half months right now for an average processing time of uh, SSDI applications. That's a long time to wait, right? If somebody's just sustained a disability and needs some funding and can't work right now, that's a long time to sit there and wait for an application to be um, to be approved, right? Um, so anyway, as a result, this is how the White House is coming out, calling on $15.4 billion of funding within the 2025 fiscal budget. Now remember, this is the legislation that lawmakers need to pass. They need to bring it out this year. And well, I should say this month, sorry, I said this year. I meant to say this month. Uh, lawmakers need to fulfill the details of this. Well over a trillion dollars worth of spending. They need to get done within the next, call it three weeks. It's not very much time to get all this done. Now, will they actually pass this? And what would it actually mean, you know, going forward if they, if they actually do this? Now, they will pass federal uh, funding. They will pass the 2025 federal budget. When though? Is it going to be by the end of this month? I highly doubt it. I highly, highly, highly doubt it. And this is where all the government shutdown talks comes in. And you've heard me talk about that before. But I would anticipate, this is just my anticipation, I could be wrong about this, but they'll probably push um, out a CR, continuing resolution, probably out until mid-November sometime, beyond the election, before Thanksgiving, something like that to give them an extra, say, five or six weeks. That'd be my anticipation on this. But who knows? We don't know quite yet. But here's the thing. The $15.4 billion that is being requested by the White House for Social Security would not be going into the trust fund. It would not necessarily be going out to the beneficiaries, but rather it would be to serve the beneficiary better with better staffing, um, all the things like that, right? All of the back end uh, spending that goes on to maintain Social Security, to you know get all the necessary staff people, all the things that they need to basically operate Social Security, this is where the $15.4 billion would come in. So we might be thinking of this and think, oh yeah, they stiffed us again and they're just trying to give away $15.4 billion and it doesn't go to the people. 
you're right. It technically does not go to the beneficiary, but it does go to the administration, as in the Social Security Administration. And as a result of that, it better serves the beneficiary and it better, you know, kind of reflects in the benefits that people are getting. So you kind of look at it as like, okay, you're right. It's not directly impacting you or your monthly benefit. It's not directly going to us as benefit checks or raises or anything like that. Nope, that's not what it is. Not saying that at all, but rather it's going to the administration of the program program and the benefits. So if you think of it that way, it's actually probably not such a bad thing considering it's just kind of a nightmare uh, trying to get anything done with them because it's such a very slow process and it just takes forever, right? Um, so anyway, that's just what I want to bring to your attention. So we'll have to see what happens here. Again, I will continue to keep you posted on that. Now, really quickly as well, I want to throw this out there because I do know that there are some of you here in the community, but yes, they are also calling over $12 billion for, v, uh, for the VA as well. So pretty cool stuff there. And um, this is something that goes on you know, every year. They always call for additional funding for the VA each year. And again, the demand continues to grow there. So again, a very, very, very important, um, you know, entity there, the VA, very important, taking care of millions and millions of people, or it's there for them anyway. But um, yeah, really good stuff there as well. So I don't think we can look at this and be like, well, that's money bad spent. I don't think anybody could say that, right? Anything that goes out to help like VA, veterans, um, uh, the, 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 you know, the VA money going there, the over $12 billion or the over $15 billion, $15.4 billion that is being requested for Social Security. I don't know. I mean, obviously we could look at any kind of spending and be like, well, that's, num that's money they don't need to spend. Well, when it comes down to these things between the VA and Social Security, I mean, you're talking what, nearly 100 million people probably? I don't know the exact number off the top of my head. I'd have to look it up again, but 70 plus million people from Social Security alone, a lot of people, millions and millions of people through the VA as well. I would imagine that this is going to be, you know, one of these things where it's like, can we really, you know, can we can we really push back and be like, oh, this is money bad spent? I don't think so, right? This would be a, probably a good thing that's going to impact, I don't know, call it 100 million people, probably around that range somewhere. I, I don't think we could ever push back on that and be like, this was not a good idea, right? Um, so anyway, of course, I'll continue to keep you posted on all this. There's a lot going on this month. I've said this so many times before, and I'm going to say it again really quickly. September, October, November, and December are wildly important for your fixed income benefit. Like the last five months or so of the year, it gets really, really, really busy, right? So like August, it starts kicking off a little bit. Well, realistically, it, July is when it really starts. July, I mean, basically the second half of the year is when it really starts, but it really starts ramping up. Kind of the last four or five or so months of the year is when it really, really gets busy. And we got a lot of announcements coming out here and even January of next year as well. I know it's a long time from now, but a lot of things will be going into effect then as well. They'll be getting announced out of Social Security here in a matter of just weeks, okay? So a lot of things happening here. Um, but yes, I will continue to keep you posted on this. Any other details coming out right now as far as your benefits, money, checks, monthly checks, raise the benefits, increases, anything like that, of course, I'll bring it to you. There's a lot of things that are happening right now. Anyway, hope this helps you again. I wanna keep you informed with everything going on. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends on your social media. Check out the other videos here on the channel. Thousands in the video library. Uh, down below in the comments section and the top of the description, I have hand selected some very popular and informative videos there. Check those out. Those are good stuff as well. And um, yeah, right now showing up on your screen, you see some videos there. Otherwise, enjoy your day. Take care. Have a good one. And I'll catch you again later in the